Hey guys, in the second tutorial we're going to learn a little bit more about JavaScript. Hey guys, welcome back and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to integrate the JavaScript within HTML. In the previous tutorial what we did was we basically used jsbin.com which if you aren't already there you're going to want to start here and uh, we basically just worked within this JavaScript center column here which basically just took our JavaScript and outputted it to the screen. But we need to know and you guys need to know how to integrate it within your web pages and the HTML and how it works and so I'm going to start there and we'll build upon that. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete out that and get rid of our JavaScript box there. All right. So basically we're working within the HTML over here and then we're going to see our output and we're going to run our JavaScript that's in our output. All right. So the first thing that you need to know is when, you're, when your web page runs, you've got this HTML that goes and uh, develops your web page. It shows you know what elements are going to show up there, and this is where you're going to have to know a little bit about HTML, but uh, for these tutorials, I'll kind of walk you through it. And, uh, and then it gets down to what they call a, a scripting tag, all right? And that's what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to define what the script is, what type it is, and then we're going to put some JavaScript within there. All right, so this very first part is we're going to put in script, this tag that basically defines and tells our web browser, hey, we've got some scripting here. You need to process this instead of writing it to the screen like HTML. You need to process this scripting a little bit differently with JavaScript. So in this case, we're going to put in script and we're going to tell it what type of script it is. And we're going to do that by writing script equals text slash JavaScript and then close that uh, tag out and then I'm gonna go ahead and close out our script here and then we'll take that and we'll put basically our JavaScript in between here now you guys should know, well I should probably close that script there but you guys should know that uh, these scripts right here the web standards are basically you want to have the JavaScript within the body here of your HTML or the head of your uh, HTML. You don't really want to have it up here. You can, but uh, it's not the web standards. Alright, so once we've defined the scripting type within our HTML, we're going to go and check to make sure that it works. So we're going to use the statement that I taught you guys in the first tutorial, which is document.write, and we're just going to print out something like awesome sauce, and then end that with our semicolon. So as long as you see over on the right hand side, our output should display our text string that we're displaying on screen. All right. So now the last statement, that, uh, the last part of this tutorial that we're going to do, because I'm going to save the rest for the next tutorial, uh, so some compounding stuff that we'll use in the next tutorial. But I'm going to teach you guys how to use the alert box. And this, like, you guys see this on websites all the time, where you walk, you go to a website, you walk. Yeah, everyone's walking in these tutorials. But no, you go to a website and uh, you click something, and like you get this box that appears and just pesters the living daylights out of you you're sitting there like oh my goodness why did why do people actually put these well you're gonna be able to put these on your website and do the same thing if you want and uh, but anyways so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type alert and then we're gonna do basically the same thing with uh, we define what we want the in the alert box which in this case we'll use the awesome sauce again and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and click run so we have it our output right now which is still the document right and uh, then it comes to our next statement which is the alert after we run this you'll see what happens and we get what we said within the text string which is our awesome solves within this alert box and I really feel like somebody should just create like a today's awesome sauce dot com I don't, I don't know why but like who wouldn't go to that you know uh, just saying I always come with these great ideas every day so anyways, there's your next statement that you guys have learned. You've got uh, two things down. you got one that's hanging print to the screen using JavaScript, and you got two where the alert box pops up. Now you're probably wondering, you know, where are we going to go next? I mean, this just seems like basic stuff. But a lot of the stuff is going to compound. Like, we're going to get into variables, and then we're going to display those within alert boxes. And then we're going to ask the user for input. I mean, just a lot of sweet stuff coming up. So anyways, in the next tutorials, I will catch you, and uh, uh, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to like this video. Catch you guys later.